there are two main types of smoke detectors available. Photoelectric detectors work by using a light sensing chamber. As smoke enters the chamber, it disrupts the path of a laser and triggers the alarm. These detectors are better at sensing slow burning or smoldering fires. Ionization detectors use two electrically charged plates to ionize the air in the sensor. When smoke enters the detector, it disrupts the flow of the ions and triggers the alarm. Ionization detectors are stronger at detecting fast flaming fires. However, due to their design, they can be triggered by dust or steam. A dual sensor detector includes both a photoelectric and ionization detector, offering the best smoke and fire protection. Aya sprinkler systems are heat activated, one sprinkler head at a time. The sprinkler head must detect a high enough temperature. Usually, there are different temperature ranges for sprinklers, starting from 57 degrees centigrade to 260 degrees centigrade, depending on the hazards. Most sprinkler heads are equipped with a glass trigger filled with a glycerin-based liquid that expands at the appropriate temperature breaking the glass and activating the sprinkler head. The sprinkler head is attached to a system of pipes that are hidden behind the walls or ceiling. These pipes wind through the building and outside to connect with a reliable water source. When the sprinkler head is triggered, a valve to the pipe system is opened, releasing the water that is kept under pressure from the pipes. The water is quickly pushed out of the pipes through the sprinkler head, spraying water downward or upward and out to the sides. This carefully designed spray of water extinguishes the fire below or above and prevents it from spreading. Fire sprinklers use about six times less water than a fire hose. They're actually less harmful to your property than a visit from the fire.